And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the South, up against Grog. Uh, he is the Red Terran in the East. He is an alcoholic beverage, if I remember right. Um, the map is Lost Temple. Um, it's it's a, always a strange map for me because I always forget how close the bases can be when we're spawned close to each other like we are in this uh, particular instance with him in the east and me in the south um, really the, the the distance between us is very short and this is actually a really good uh, map for early aggression or early expansion and it really depends on where the spawning locations are he does have uh, his first supply depot on the way. It does look like he is going to be supply locked once again. Don't get. I, I don't agree with getting that supply depot out that far. Um, I, I mean, I understand the point of it, but I mean, I, I feel like I've kind of taken the lead here because I wasn't supply locked as long as he was. And I go towards the Zalnaga Tower here, and I'm able to see his SUV, so I already know where his base is. I just want to go in and see what is going on in there. And I do see uh, that the barracks is slightly ahead of mine, and his refinery is on the way. And that reminds me to build my refinery, which I do right now. Um, I do, I think, I don't know, I, I think his refinery was a little too early, actually. Um, simply because... He's, I mean, it, it might be good if you wanted to get a reactor before his first marine, but I always like to get that first marine out uh, just in case he goes for any kind of, you know, bunker. I can take out that SCV right away. You know, I, 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 I always feel it's good to have that one offensive unit before I start trying to tech up. But it looks like he is going to get that first uh, marine out as well, and the second barracks is on the way. Uh, he just he never fully saturated that uh, first that refinery. He still only got the one uh, SCV on it. He is going for orbital commands a um, lot later than I am, so it looks like I have retaken the lead here. Oh no, but I am behind on um, the barracks production. His second one is up as mine starts, uh, but his first reactor is now just on the way. He is getting a marine out of the other one. Um, I don't know if he realizes how far behind he is. Uh, yes, he does. Um, how far behind he is in gas, and yes, he was, so he started getting more SCVs there. And here I learned my lesson. Uh, I, I did get the marines out here. Um, so that they can get some pot shots on the enemies trying to go up my ramp. Um, I did learn the lesson from the last game I had on Lost Temple. Where I lost to a stalker rush that was awful. Um, really, I think, th I, I really do think that was simply a, a manner of me losing my micro more than anything else. I mean, I did have a bad opener that was behind on it, but really what... Sh what should have happened is I should have had my marines and uh, my marauders out on this ledge and that would have saved me instead I had them guarding the ramp here uh, so the the height advantage was was non-existent in that particular instance he is going for a three racks it looks like as well as into an engineering bay that's my build um, but it looks like he's actually doing it better than me because I don't have an engineering bay out. I'm actually getting a second refinery, uh, but so is he. Um, he's He's got a lot of gas spent up. Um, I, it looks like I have spent more on army, um, as, as well as uh, keeping that production up. I do have a stim pack on the way. He is going instead for the level uh, one weapons upgrade. I would prefer the stim pack actually. Uh, to the to the level one upgrades, um, I did send a marine out to the Salmaga Tower. I would assume that 50% higher, you know, speed and and damage output would 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 outclass the one level weapons upgrade. You know, it's just one more damage here uh, for these marines, and I believe uh, two more damage. 
uh, one one overall damage and then two extra damage for armored for the Marauders. So we are not talking about that um, that much, but he is sticking with Marines. He got two reactors and then a tech lab, and he is researching uh, the combat shield, not even bothering with the stim pack there. And he is going for an early Marine push. That, Zel that Zelnaga Tower did warn me of that. And he smartly goes around the outside, uh, knowing that my marines and marauders would be up there. I do not have an expansion yet, so there's nothing to attack there. Um, my combat shield is on the way. Um, his weapons level 1 upgrade is not done yet, though. So he is late on this push, and my marauder slow is done on the other hand, so these marines are having trouble running away. A couple of of my units go out to chase. I quickly call them back. Well, not very quickly, but I do call them back. Um, my factory is up. Siege uh, tanks should be coming out. Siege mode should be uh, start being researched. I do want to keep my, uh, my siege tanks up here as I start to move out because he did have so many marines. I assume that he's sticking with marines, but he is not. He is going for a quick upgrade here going into starports it looks like he just got the factory up getting that tech lab up and instantly going into a starport and he is able to get pot shops off here so many marines there and that level one upgrade did finish for him so he should be able to clean this up of course the height advantage playing a big difference here there was a lot of times here especially this guy right here I simply could not attack him, and those guys will live uh, one kill apiece, it looks like. Um, but I do have... Um, looks like we're going for very similar builds here. I am going for the expansion, though. And hopefully I'll be able to hold on long enough to let that take uh, advantage for me. But he is getting a reactor on a starport. So I assume we are going to be seeing some medevac drops. That is what I would assume and what I would want to do in this situation if I was him. Quickly teching up to the starport, get some um, medevacs out, start moving these guys into my lines here and start doing some damage because I, of course, do have the har the harvester lead as well as the expansion um, which is now being morphed into an orbital command um, and of course I do have um, this, uh, well the lead in uh, all income as well as spending no it looks like I've spent more on economy than he has I do have the lead in the army but I do believe I have lost more yes I have even though I have not lost as many units I did lose a lot more marauders and all of his were marines this guy needs to siege up but he does have quite a substantial army in his base he is supply locked though it looks like, yes, he's 67 out of 67. Uh, two medevacs on the way, and I assume we are going to be seeing a medevac drop as soon as those are out. Well, they have to heal up first. There we go. Siege tank is up. It can see everything. And look at all this damage that can be done um, before uh, it engages any any kind of units engage my army. Siege tanks are great on this map, and I do do try to keep that in mind because I do forget it at times. So we are seeing two medevacs going around. It looks like they are going to be going around the long way. Um, going to the Zelnaga Tower here before anything else. I do a small transfer here it looks like. Um, and I, it looks like I'm going to be going for a um, push here. I don't know if this is a good idea. The army count is only slightly in my favor, if in my favor at all, because of course uh, a couple of those are medevacs, but he is going for the drops here, and that is going to be devastating because I simply have nothing left in uh, my base, and of course he is doing massive amounts of damage before I can even get my first shot off. I, the stim pack does go down, medevacs are in my base now, dropping everything off. Siege tank is up, and it can't do any damage left. That siege tank does finish the job, and I am screwed here. Uh, so a 
bad, bad, bad timing by me. Bad micro. I need to keep these guys out of range of everything. Um, get them even behind uh, the minerals if I have to. Up to here. Uh, that block off is what destroyed me in the end. I do have this expansion up, so I was thinking maybe I could hold this off, but there were just too many units inside my base, and I was forced to GG. So that was another uh, interesting build, something that I had not seen before. Quick Marines, and when I won that, he went into the tech really quickly. The siege tank got five kills of its own, um, but really he went into medevacs, went into the drop, and the drop won it for him, um, as well as the block off. I I I would not have thought that. Um, that the block off would have done that for him. I thought about scanning uh, while I was there, but I did not have enough energy. As you can see, I, I, I've only got 51 on this guy here, so um, I, I did not have enough energy at the time to do a scan here. I would have loved to have maybe done some damage, but these guys did have the level 1 weapons upgrade, and I don't believe I even got... Uh, yeah, I did not even start it. Uh, so that was the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.